Hello guys! Hi Repa Pips! Welcome to Ralph Reacts! Today, ang re-review natin ngayon ay sobrang, sobrang, sobrang daming energy dahil ang re-review natin ngayon ay si Paring Gary. Si Paring Gary, may tropa siya, si Patrick, tsaka si Bubuy, yung sponha. Ngayon, kung hindi mo nakuha yon, napapanhon tong video na to kasi merong isang Ezekiel Miller na nagsabi na parang Spain daw silent S, no? Sa tingin ko, maganda explain ko yan pag nireview ko yung rap ni Ezekiel Miller. Iba din kasi yung inspiration niya. Iba din ang inspiration ni Paring Gary. Pagkakala mo si Paring Gary ay merong mga Hispanic na lineage. I-review natin ngayon yung Spain na kanta niya. Pure energy. So, itong video no, is just for fun. So, enjoy lang tayo ngayon. The reason why I want to watch these videos, and actually I watch these videos several times, Several, several times because like I want to relate to that feeling and I like being taken to the other place. Panahon niya yung video. Simula na maaga. Sepia Brown? Pa yellow yun. That's love. Hello, ladies. Ending. Bah, may sakit si kuya. Brighter days. Brighter days. Exaggerated talaga. Hi fans. And we'll love us once again. Nandi ano naman sila? baba na to. So, itong story to, na itong kanta ng Spain na to, mahirap makarelate dito. Imagine mo, no, nagbakasyon ka sa Spain. Parang naalala niya nung December na nagkita sila. Ito, ninanarate niya, nandun na sa sitwasyon na nagre-reminis siya. Tinatandaan niya ano nangyari dati, no. Tapos, tinitingnan niya yung picture. Tapos, yun lang yung naaalala niya. So, mahirap makarelate dito kasi never ka nagka-jowa. Pangalawa, parang wala kang pan-travel pumuntang Spain. Hindi ka makarelate. Tuloy natin. But that's not all. That's not all. Sa Spain lang. Taas ang motor. These were brown falling down. Very dancey. Hmm. Ang dami niyong ano. Magandang, arrang magandang arrangement. Tama ba yung term ko? Your face for me. Hmm. Malalaman mo na nakaabot ka sa second part ng relationship mo. Kapag uh, medyo matagal na kayo. Tapos nakita mo yung partner mo, nagtitigan kayo, no? Tapos for some reason, may isip mo lang na parang dami na namin pinagdaanan. Kailangan mo up yung game na. Mahirap makarelate do, dito sa ganito kasi syempre, madaming taong hindi nakamit sa ganitong level ng relationship. Madami na namin pinagdaanan. Gusto ko siyang alagaan. Iba yung ganong feeling. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. 
Showman. Etong part na to is tinatawag na uh, scatting. And you would see a variety of instruments that he's using to demonstrate his skill. Actually, and dami niyang ginawa dito to just demonstrate what, what he can do with his vocal talent. Kung nag-focus ka talaga, pinakinggan mo yung kanta, makikita mo yung parang sobrang dami niyang ginawang styles and techniques and tingnan natin, ha? Beatbox. <clears throat> It's like a castanet or parang yung snappers. Thirty-nine albums, si kuya no, daw. <coughs> Piano. <coughs> so hindi lang air guitar. Masakit si kuya ko ba naman? Kuya no pero lolo na pala siya. Lolo na ba siya? Nakasan daw. Ang ganda nung pagkakasabi na, as we live again. Tapos parang pinahaba niyong live again to, to make them experience the living again. So imagine yung time na na-meet mo yung crush mo, no? tapos parang, wow, ang ganda niya. Tapos parang, parang perfect kami. Yung infatuated face ka, no? tapos parang nakita mo siya, nag, 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 nagkasayo kayo, nagkakita kayo. And then yung memories, parang pagka pinigil niya, <laughs> memories, dreaming, dreaming. Parang kinat niya, <laughs> na parang, syempre, uh, ang dream tahi, sag, saglit lang, di ba? Maganda din instrumental dito. <laughs> Sabi naman lang ko na to, no? You should never start a conversation with this tremolo. <laughs> you should never start this type of tremolo. And I don't know how, what you need to do to make this like at a performance level and that people will take you seriously. You know, people will think you're crazy. I don't think that's socially acceptable. Do not use this musical talent at random. Uh, welcome. Thank you for joining the meeting. Glad you can join us. Um, how is everybody? Good morning. No, don't do that. Come on. Kahit sabihin mong inspiration mo to, <laughs> to make a good impression, no? Puro musical influences yung mga phrases na sinasabi niya. Kung nag-musical tinin ka, common yun eh. Parang 5, 6, 7, 8. Parang ganun yan eh. Pwip, pwip, pwip! Pwip, pwip! Very dancey, very... Matataas yung mga percussions mo. So, parang mga hats. So, parang snappy. Parang mga kulinta ka na isip ko actually. Nagbe-bass siya. So, air bass. Is that a trumpet? Drum, drum. Chum! Ha! Nether! Triangle ba yan? Very dancey.
sayaw sila. Na-variate niya talaga endings niya. May eye contact siya. Napaka-showman niya sa mga ganang ginagawa niya. I like how he says Hispanic. Fiesta. That's yung yung waviness no? It's like making you wanna dance, right? So that's that's like a powerful vocal uh, instrument when you you're able to influence people to do things. So the only reason why you want to communicate is you want to inform, persuade, or to entertain. And in this case, is uh, persuading you to take action to in a particular manner with not just explicitly telling you or instructing you to do it. So that's very powerful. The other thing is it's pop pop. May friend ako sabi niya sa akin guwago daw ako pag ginagawa mo ako daw guwapo gago. <laughs> Lalo na yung mga Phoenix mukha kang pina sabi nila, "We can do this, guys. 018. Perfect." Yeah, kaya natin 'to. Tapos magpa-pop ng collar. Diretso patay tapos papatayin din siya sa pagbalik sa ano no. Not good, not good. Just a reminder, guys, he's sitting down and he is sick. Uh, uh, when he's performing. So, nakita mo, I think, two times na or three times nakita ko siyang umuubo nang pat- tinat- tinatanggal niya sa mic para hindi makuha. No? Ina natin. This is one of the videos like I really want, want watching again just because of the how expressive, how great the storytelling is and how how well it's it's done. It's such mastery of the art of the voice. He puts his energy into it. Mr. Valenciano, I give you a snappy salute. So well done. I remember when we got him you just have a performance niya sa company na I was working for before. It was unreal for me to see him perform. Because he also dances, no? If you don't have to watch the performance of Gary Vee and you're a musician, you should definitely watch him. Because there's so many things he's doing. It's very colorful. Very, very colorful yung pagkakapaint ng picture. And it's so vivid na you can just close your eyes and listen to the story and you would know that you're this one person looking at this this um, old photo. Kasi yung mga photos dati hindi na-upload, no? Yung mga naka... 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 print? Tapos merong may puti sa gilid. Ano, may Polaroid. Parang Instax, ganyan. Usually, hindi pa ganun ka-colorful. Parang mga 16-bit or 8-bit ata yun. So, parang may hue ng yellow or brown. Kung brown yung sinasabi niya. Beatboxing pa lang, no? Um, he, can, he can do like... Ratatatatata. Ako lang, alam ko lang ngayon. Ano yun? Ratatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
are there with you. Yung pagsabi niya ng, yung mga word choice at emphasis ng joy. Like talaga, joy. I think it was high school that I started listening to Japanese and Korean. I like Koreans because of their ballads. Their ballads were like really great at that time when I was in college. And then, in college, I was also listening to J-rock and J-pop because I like their pop and rock. The detail on how they, how they make music. And there was some void that I could not fill because some of the Filipino music talent that was accessible to me at that time did not have the complexity that, that, that I liked. So I remember my, one of my titas played a, a piano piece for me. And it was so avant-garde for some people that they did not understand our music as, at that level. I love music, but music doesn't love me back. I know how to listen and I know how to edit some. And I can see sometimes na, uy, masyadong sharpen yung taper ng edit dun sa, sa exit niya nun, or digitally replicated yung reverb or yung claps. You can tell those things. And some people don't have that or some people have to develop that. Some people even don't know their their main ear. So, okay, parang main, main eye mo, which is your, like, main, yung test na ganun. Okay, left eye ako. Yun, yun yung dapat yung pangi-aim ko. I really like the level of comfort of that he had going into this performance. When he's performing, he's in the zone. He, he's like, in it. He's in it to win it. Check him out. If, isa sa paboritong pinapanood ng mga Pilipino itong si Parang Gary dahil isa nga naman siyang haligi ng industriya ng musika sa Pilipinas. Kung hindi mo alam yung panahon nila, Leia, panahon nila, Gary, yan talagang mga OG. Uh, sila yung mga nauna talaga. Na very theatrical yung mga performance nila. Talagang exaggerated ang movement. Talagang emphasis. Tsaka totally gamit na gamit yung buong katawan. Idol ko si Leia. Minsan nag-photobomb yan sa akin eh. Ito. Jazz is very good for vocals because you'd, you'd have more things to learn, uh, to add to your toolkit when you're performing. I, re- I experienced this, uh, Manila Bay, ba yan? I, w- I was there and there was a show band, no? The show bands are very demanding because every time you just watch, want to listen to something, people will request to give you a song and you, sh- you should be able to sing it, right? There's some, some performers that I know that to this day, before even going to the song, they don't like tell a story. And you might see this in mga concerts, like, you know, Moira would like, oh, do you remember this someone? And I think that's very important for me as, as a... And that's why I'm not willing to pay for some other concerts. Because c- some cards, concerts will just, you know, show you... Uh, they won't connect with the audience, or they won't tell a story, or they won't, they won't say something that would be relatable to audiences. And I think it's a very missed opportunity. If, if you're a performer that can about well tell a story and... and make it relatable to me as a viewer, it makes a whole world of difference. For me, yung mga nakita kong show bands, they were like pros for me. They were able to take me to that place. They were not super accurate with their notes, uh, but you know, I'm not saying that about Gary, because Gary is like, you know. There's, it adds a different dimension. Hindi ka just a one-dimensional singer. You understand that emotion is very important in singing, and kita-kita dito na talagang into it siya, no? So I hope you liked that review. Thank you for watching. Consider liking and follow Gary. Yeah, please support him. Also looking for someone to arrange a song for me. Uh, ang hirap maghanap. So that's also why I'm doing this. Thank you for watching mga Repa Peeps. I hope you enjoyed this review. Have a great day. Watch my next video.